Hey guys, well, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is an inspirational video. Now, you'll say, Tam, that's a different type of video for you, and that's not normally what you do, but listen up, sis. I also like to inspire people as well as I like to teach people as well as I like to give out information as well as I like to do tutorials and um, I'm also a caregiver I wear a lot of hats and today I just had some things on my heart that I wanted to share and I wanted to share with you guys so I want to say thank you for coming to my channel thank you for giving me your time and your patience and if you are a new subscriber thank you for subscribing and if you have not yet subscribed please take the time to hit the subscribe button down below and like and share my video okay so let's just jump right into this video today we're going to be talking about taking risks and taking chances in life why do we need to take risks? Okay, I'm gonna tell you why. first of all if you do not take risks and take chances in life you're not gonna go anywhere especially if you are a creative person and you have been blessed by God with a gift if you have a gift and you do not take any chances with it you just hold on to it and you don't do anything with it you don't take any risks nothing you don't get a blessing for that see let me tell you how God works God gives us these gifts and he says I'm gonna give you a gift I'm gonna give you a gift I'm gonna give you and you and you and you and you and you and even you a gift no matter what your gift is you are supposed to share it with the world yes you're supposed to share it you're not supposed to know that you have a gift and just sit on it like a warm egg no that's not what you're supposed to do in life and then you know some people wonder why why they're not moving forward in their life because you have a gift and you're not sharing it you have to share it this is why God gave it to you okay let me let me say this I have several gifts I'm a gifted person and I can say that because number one I know what my gifts are because I have recognized them and I know what to do with them I know how to share them with the world now let me tell you what some of my gifts are and maybe some of y'all can relate okay one of my gifts is being a caregiver because I also do nursing so that is one of my gifts when I wake up in the morning and I know I have a, a shift to go to to care for people I know I'm destined to do that I know I am because it's something that I have been doing for almost 20 years now has it has it been an easy 20 years heck no has I have I always wanted to do it no has it always been pleasant no but I've still been doing it for half my life that's what I was it's, it's what I was meant to do now let's take that a step further I, I thought several times about going back to school and getting my LPN licensed practical nurse but every time it comes right here to the front of my mind I push it to the back you wanna know why because that is not my gift I'm not saying I wouldn't be good at it I would probably be great at it but it's not my gift okay my gift is to be able to touch every person's life that I come in contact that needs my help that's one of my gifts okay another one of my gifts is my creativeness I have several creative gifts now hopefully some of you guys out there can relate to this and you can tap into your creative gift so this is why we're having this conversation because I want you to tap into what your creative gifts are and take some risks sis bro come on share it with the world okay another one of my gifts is bag making you hear me saying pocketbooks um clutch bags um tote bags duffel bags um, all kinds of bags that's one of my gifts i can put that thing together in 0 0.5 seconds you hear me and 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 i can just take a, a regular piece of fabric it don't even have to be a brand new piece of fabric out of the out of the store y'all it can be an old pair of jeans and an and a, and a old sweater and a, and a, 
and I can make it into something fabulous. I can make it into a fabulous bag. You would have never even knew it was an old pair of jeans and a sweater. You see what I'm saying? I also have the gift of refashioning clothes. I have the gift of making clothes from scratch. I have the gift of um, designing something just out of my head. Just off the top of my head, bam. I see this coat. It's in my head floating around. And what do I got to do? I got to get it out. I got to make it. I got to share it with y'all. I have to. It's in me. It's in me. I have to do this. Okay? I also have the gift of creating things. Don't matter what it is. I have the gift. This is how my gift go when, when it comes to creating things. Maybe somebody can relate to this. Maybe y'all can't. I don't know. I can see something anywhere. I can go in the store. Okay, let's put it this way. I can go in the store and I can see a piece of art. And I can look at it one time and say, I can I can make that. I can do that. And and if I'm with somebody, they can be looking at me like, what? You can do that? Yeah. And, and be serious as a heart attack, y'all. Be serious as a heart attack. Okay. My other gift is to create something from scratch. I can dream about it. I can think about it. I can have a vision of it. And I can get up, and I can, I can, a lot of times I wake up in the middle of the night or early morning hours because Come to me some and vision I get up something. out the bed and I start making it. Just like that. Just like that. Everybody don't have that gift. I understand that. But what I'm saying is everyone, each and every one of you and you and you and you and you and you, each and every one of y'all have some type of gift. If, if, if you, um, if you wake up in the morning and you go to work and you are awesome you're an awesome typist and you can do that with your eyes closed and you enjoy doing it and it makes you feel good that's your gift you're supposed to be somewhere being a typist only you're supposed to be doing nothing else okay or you're supposed to start your own typist business or something like that maybe you're supposed to teach people how to be a typist but that's your destiny that's something that you're supposed to be doing okay if you're a person that can just get up and feel good and do your gift and work on your gift and it, it pushes you through the day and it makes you feel awesome, that's what you're supposed to be doing. That's that's what your destiny is. That's what you're supposed to be sharing with the world. It, it don't matter if it's um pottery. I'm just throwing some stuff out there. It, it pottery. It could be um, making jewelry. It could be... Um, Creating furniture, um, it could be designing clothes, it could be um, making dresses, it could be um, um, fixing cars, um, it could be cutting hair, it could be making cookies. It's something. Everybody has one thing that they're good at. It could be taking pictures, it could be coloring and coloring books. I don't know, y'all. But what I do know is that everybody has their gift, and if you have a gift, and you're not taking chances, and you are not... Uh, taking risks and you're not sharing that gift with the world you're squandering it and guess what god don't like that y'all he don't like it he don't like it and, and and eventually guess what he's going to do he's going to take it from you so let's just say you have the gift of being a singer right now let's piggyback this because y'all right now i piggyback a lot of stuff so we're gonna really piggyback this one if you are a singer or you're not a singer you just have the gift of song you have an awesome voice, right? And you just sing in your bathroom, and you know you singing and jamming in the car. And you know when you when you um hear music, you know you just automatically start singing. And you and, and people have been telling you your voice is beautiful, beautiful, and you can really sing. You should sing. Now, come on, let me hear something else. Keep singing, sing, keep singing. Can you sing at my birthday party? Can you sing at my daughter's wedding? Um, can you sing at this church function? Can you sing at my mama's funeral? You're supposed to be a singer. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to be going to an office, sitting in a cubicle, and pushing papers around the desk. And doing data entry. See, the problem is, the problem with the human race is that we have been taught to just grow up and get a job by our parents. Because that's what was taught by their parents. And that's what we were taught. So we automatically think that we're supposed to go out here and get a job and make money. But that's not what we're supposed to be doing, y'all. We are supposed to be living out our dreams and our passions. 
And when you do that, you're going to make money. So if you're a singer, not a singer, but if you can sing and you don't aspire to be a singer, you're squandering your gift. I'm telling you what I know. You're squandering your gift and God does not like that. He will take it from you. So let's just say you you know you know you can sing. All right? And you've been you've been singing it, you know, here and there. But you ain't really been doing nothing big. You ain't really been been, been pushing it and you ain't really been um, letting people hear you and you haven't really been trying to um, share it with the world. You just been sitting on it. And then one day you wake up and you got you got to get throat surgery. And I know it's possible, y'all, because it happened to me before you could ask my sister. You got to get throat surgery. You have no idea why. You can't talk. You can't swallow. You can barely breathe. Your throat's closing up on you. And you like, what? Or you can talk with your eyes. Okay? And you you get rushed to the hospital, and you have this throat surgery. And, and then, as a, as, a, as a result of your throat surgery, you can't sing no more. Guess what happened? God took that gift away from you because you didn't use it. You squandered it. See, that's how it goes. If you have a gift and you don't use it and you don't share it with the world, God is going to take it from you. I'm just telling you what I know. Okay, moving on. The next thing I want to talk about is when things fall apart in life, what, what do we do, y'all, to fix it? What do we do? We immediately start praying, right? Oh God, let me um 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 make my rent. Oh God, please help me um get out of this abusive situation. Oh God, please um um help me fix my car. Oh God, please um help my son get out of jail. Oh God, please help um um my cat stay alive. I don't know. I'm just saying, like as soon as things get bad and things fall apart, you want to start praying. But all that other time, you ain't pray over nothing. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't say no prayers. We, um, you get up in the morning. You ain't, you ain't read no Bible scriptures. You ain't, you ain't talk to God. You ain't, you ain't even seek out a, um, a, um, a, a relationship with God. You ain't been to church in, um, in ninety five Sundays and ten days. But now, all of a sudden, because things are falling apart in your life, you want to start asking God for stuff. But you haven't been faithful. Hmm. What you think God gonna listen? He, he definitely gonna listen. And he gonna take care of it. But he ain't gonna take care of it when you want him to take care of it. He gonna take care of it on his own time. Yep. Know why? Because you haven't been faithful. You wait until something, everything wanna fall apart and go bad in your life. And then you wanna start praying and asking for things. That's not the way it happens. You have to pray. And you have to ask for things every day. And like every day I wake up in the morning, I pray to God and I ask him to carry me through my day. I ask him to just wake me up in the morning. I ask him to make to, to help me and push me along through my day so that I can do what I do, be who I am, and continue to share my gifts with y'all. Now see, this YouTube thing is, is new for me. But I never stop sharing. And y'all know this. Y'all know this for a fact. Now the people that, that are on here and, and might be friends and family and they know me, they know that from years way back when I was a young, 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 young girl. And my sister is the one that taught me how to make my first nursing uniform. Okay? I've been sharing with my gifts with y'all ever since then. This, I wasn't even 20 years old. I was a teenager. I ain't know how to sew. I ain't, I, but guess what? This was my destiny. Being able to sew and, and, and design things and create things was my destiny and it's my passion. You want to know how I know? I'm, I'm going to tell you how I know. A mom can back me up because when I was a little girl, I used to take little little pieces of fabric and a needle and a thread and I used to make little Barbie doll clothes. I would just be sitting on the, on the, on the floor making little Barbie doll clothes. I, and I made them good too, y'all. I made them good. So what I'm telling you is this is what I was always supposed to do. I knew it from when I was a little baby. But now that I am an adult, hmm. You think I take that seed and run away with it? Listen, when my sister taught me how to make my first pair of uniform pants and my first pair, uh, and my first um uniform scrub top, you can ask her. Listen, she'll tell you. I took that bit of information and I ran with it. 
I ran with it. I ran so fast. I didn't even know that's what I was doing. But I had a gift. I just needed somebody to help me cultivate the gift. And that was my sister. That's what she was supposed to do. She 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 helped me move it along. Come on, sis. I'm gonna teach you how to do this. And I picked up on it like that. It wasn't. It was, it was like second nature. It was like I already knew what I was doing, and I didn't know what I was doing. Y'all listening? I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew what I was doing. Now, so I went from making a, a basic pair of scrub pants and a basic square ass top to making wedding gowns and coats and pants and 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 tops and um and bags and any any type of clothing you could think of. Now, am I saying I'm the best designer out here? No, I'm not saying that. And I'm I just can't make it. I'm a damn well sure try and do my best and figure it out. So I'm saying, I'm telling you all these things to motivate you and let you know that whatever it is that you want to do in life, you got to get up and do it. Stop being so motivated to go out here and keep doing the same routine that you've been doing, that you've been conditioned to do. Get up. Punch the time clock at 9 o'clock. Punch the time clock um, for lunch. Punch back in for lunch. Punch out and go home. Stop being so, 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 so tuned to keep doing that same um, routine every day of your life. And you're not living your best life. You're not living your best life thinking you're doing that because you're working for a paycheck. That's all you're doing. You're not living out your destiny. You're not working towards your dreams. You're not doing your passion. You're not doing none of that. You're not planting no seeds. And watching it grow. You have to plant a seed and you got to watch it grow. I planted that seed, y'all. I planted that seed. And I've been watching it grow all these years. All these years. I come from a very, 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 very tremendously creative family. So it ain't just me. Okay? You can talk to anybody. Those are dogs. Right. Y'all can know me. My family is super duper creative. And we... Live out our dreams. We go for what we want. We we don't just sit around and, and um be scared of life and um don't share what we know how to do with people and no honey no 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 no. When as soon as somebody say they need something or um they want something done, somebody in our family know how to do it. If you don't try, this is the thing. It's better to try and fail than to not have tried at all. Let me say it again. It's better. To have tried and failed than to not have tried at all. Because if you have not tried, that means you just you just stuck in your own way. You're stuck in your own way. You gotta get out of your own way. When I talk to you guys about turning your hobby into a business, you can't be scared to do it. Even if you're scared to do it. You can't be scared to do it. Because if you don't try, you're never gonna know if you can succeed or not. You never, you're never going to know if you're going to fail or not. See, we get so afraid of failure before we even try. So we come up with all kinds of excuses. Um, I, I, I can't do that because I ain't got no money. I can't do that because um, um, I'm too old. I can't do that because I'm too young. I can't do that because I'm too too fat, um, I'm too skinny, too tall. Um, I, don't, I don't talk right. Um, all these excuses. It's not the right time yet. Um, I don't have a husband. I don't have a wife. Um, I don't have a girlfriend. I, I, I'm, I'm living with my, my mom. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Do y'all know? I was, I was when I was living with my mom. I was more creative at that time um, than I probably ever was. I mean, I'm, I'm still creative, but my gifts was just, just flowing into me because I was also connected to a woman of God. You, you hear what I'm saying? Her, her godliness jumped on to me. Okay? So, um, gifts and opportunities and stuff was opening up for me that I never even thought of, y'all. I'm telling you, 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 you have to go for your passion. You can't just keep, keep walking around. You can't do it. You can't do it. Now, let's talk about success. Success is not um, a comparison to what other successful people have done. That's what a lot of people think that success is. So if I compare, I'm going to just take um, uh, my course. I don't know. If I compare my success to Michael Kors success, I'm not successful. Okay? We're not, we're, when we do that comparison because he's, he's, he's a famous designer. I'm not a famous designer. 
but I am still a designer. But you cannot compare your success towards somebody else's success. You can't do that. You can't do that. Success is the fulfillment of what you were created to do. Did you get that? Success is the fulfillment of what you were created to do. That means if you were created to be a teacher and you went and got a teacher job and now you're teaching students, you are successful because you accomplished what you were created to do. Success ain't got nothing to do with what somebody else did or what they attained or what they, what they, no, it don't have nothing to do with that. So I just hope that um, somebody has gotten something out of this video. Somebody has taken heed to what I have said. And to all of you who are afraid to go out here and start your own businesses and, and, and um, turn those hobbies into businesses and um, share your gifts with us. I hope that you have um, looked at this video and that you will, you will listen to the sound of my voice and you will go out here and you will get up and you will start following your destiny. Yeah, you got to go to work every day because you need a paycheck. But stop stop working for money and work for your own success. That's what I do. Yeah, I go make my paycheck. But I make sure I pour into my destiny. I pour into it every day. Even if, even if it's just a couple hours a day, even if it's 15 minutes, I don't care. I make sure I do something to pour into my success every day. Do y'all hear me? When you plant the seed, you can't just plant the seed and walk away. You have to plant the seed and you got to watch it grow. How do you watch it grow? You have to water it. Get with me? You got to water it. Got to take care of it. You got to nurture it. That's what you got to do with your life. That's what you got to do with your business. That's what you got to do to be successful, to, to get to that successful place where you want to get. I'm st still striving to get to the successful place that I want to get, but I know for a fact that I was meant to do this right here that I'm doing, talking to y'all, and, and giving y'all the information, and I'm arming you with information, and leading a creative life. I know that that's what I was meant to do. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me some of your time. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, and hey, if this is your thing, and you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe. Please share my video. Please give me a big thumbs up because I'm trying to grow my channel. And as always, go with God and stay creative. Be the fan, that's what they call me. I promise that.